Well, hello, everybody. Um, welcome back to another one of my mukbangs. If you hear in the background, my son's walking by. So, um, yes. Yesterday was my birthday, which is why I got a birthday cake right here. And I didn't really do anything for my birthday. I actually did my photo. Um, I was going to say photo shoot. My video shoot was done on the 12th and it didn't end till uh till three o'clock in the morning so i was actually doing my video shoot during sorry you guys i have to like fix myself i'm not centered but anyways um so my birthday was a success um i'm sorry it's like not enough lighting danny can you please um no. Turn, turn, turn off that one. Turn this one on. Yeah, turn this one on and put it over this way. Okay, that's better. Listen. Yeah, that's better. Um. So yeah, writing for. Let's get into it because you know I'm really hungry and I'm starving. And then we could talk about everything else. So right in front of me, I got some white rice, some pernil. Um, I got cake, obviously, and I got some cuajitos and some beans. This, these are the cuajitos, and this is the beans. Then I have, um, for drinks, I have coco rico. coco rico. I haven't had that in a long ass time. And I got um, cola champán. And I just wanted to have, you know, some, you know... Can't say Puerto Rican, but Hispanic type of food. Um, Hispanic, is it? Or Latin, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is what we usually eat. It's pernil on the holidays, um, for our birthdays, for because it's such a big, um, such a big type of meat that people always make it for different things. Um, for different um, occasions when we're celebrating, of course. Um, but anyways, I am hungry. I'm starving. I want to dig in. And I'm thirsty. So, I'm going to um, taste this. I got my nails done, so yeah. Okay, I haven't had this in a long time. Mm. So that's Coco Rico. It's not what I remembered. Oh I just spilled the beans all over myself. I guess because they're too full. So when I was trying to open it, I squeezed it by accident. So let's try that again. Because I don't have any more napkins. So let's do it over the rice. <clears throat> so these are the beans. Sorry, I'm always looking at my fingers. So I'm gonna get some of the beans inside my rice because I love beans. I'm starving. I haven't. I feel like I haven't ate in so long, but it was yesterday uh, around this time, which is like six o'clock, six or seven o'clock around there. Yesterday I had um, Chinese rice, but I was so tired from the video shoot that all I did was rest yesterday. I didn't do anything on my birthday. Once I was done with my video shoot, I was so like, I'm still beat, like my whole body hurts. 
I'm like, what was I doing? Any like, I wasn't doing nothing different than what I normally do, which is dancing and stuff. But I guess my body was like, no, you wasn't ready. Mmm, it's so good. And then the penguin. Mmm. Definitely so good. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let me open these. I haven't had cuajitos in a long time. Every time I have cuajitos some from from anywhere, like a lot of times it's like they don't prepare it right or they don't clean them right. Cause I think these are um, cuajitos in English. I think they're chitlins. I'm not sure, I'm not, I might be wrong. So if anybody knows, Feel free to comment in the comment section what it is in English. Um, but yeah, if you don't clean them right, like they have a bad taste. Um, Ooh, And I know last time, I remember last time, I said I'm not going to tie up my hair anymore. But I had it straight, straightened, so it wasn't, like, so much of a hassle to comb it down and, like, tie it up as to when I leave it curly. But, yeah, that's neither in here nor there. But I wanted to mention that because I know I said last time I wasn't going to tie my hair up anymore. Um... <clears throat> Because for my video shoot, um, I had my hair curled, but it didn't want to curl. It just went straight. So, I don't know. I should have just left my natural hair. Mm. So, yeah. Um, on the 12th. Today's the 14th. On the 12th, I had, um, I had, mmm, I'm so hungry. I did my video shoot. Sorry. I'm eating with my mouth open, but, I mean, talking with my mouth full. Mmm. Mmm. So that's what they look like. And I just dripped all over the table, but that's fine. I'll clean it up. Mmm. Oh my God. Whoever made these, great job. By the way, I got my food um, from Food Zone, which is a supermarket in my um, area, and um, they they have um, a section where they sell hot food, and it's basically um, it's it's a Dominican-owned store, so I'm guessing is um, Dominican people cooking this food. And they, they cook good. Dominicans cook good. I know that um, from what I've seen, Dominicans pride themselves. When it comes to cooking, they pride themselves like 
making sure everything's clean, cooked well, and um, yeah, everything has to be clean and cooked very well. They re definitely pride themselves in that. Like that's what I noticed about about a lot of Dominicans. They will not eat something that, and then it could be cooked, but they will, if they feel like it's not cooked enough, like they feel, they won't eat it. But this is, this is so good. Mm. Oh my God. I don't have candles though, so we'll just cut the cake. Mm. Shout out to my um my ex boyfriend's mom. She got me a birthday gift and I was like so surprised because I wasn't expecting it. It came in, it came to my door, which was this box right here. And it has like <clears throat> I think they messed up because I think when you open it it was supposed to sing happy birthday. But for some it must have died. Or something must have happened, but it doesn't sing happy birthday. There's like this little thing right here. I don't know if you guys could see it. Um, I think that was supposed to sing happy birthday, but unfortunately it didn't. But I am happy with everything that is inside. Um, that's the little note that came. And this is everything that's inside. It has candy. Excuse me. The soda is making me hiccup. Um, candy, cookie. It has a cookie in there. Um, oh my God, that hurts. That hurts. Um, those hiccups hurt. It has popcorn, different types of popcorns. Candy, um, more candy. Pretzels. So I can't wait to dig into that. But I just wanted to show you guys. Then my best friend got me a painting for my birthday. Um, but basically, like, this video shoot that I did was my birthday gift to myself because I really wanted to do something different. Um, I wanted to get out there. Um, but as you guys know, I do mukbangs, but I want to be known for more than just mukbangs even though mukbangs are a great thing i love muk doing mukbangs but yeah i want to be known for a lot of stuff and um i had a lot of fun on my video too i probably already said that but it was so like you had to be there to know, like, to feel the energy that was in that room. It was, like, a whole bunch of, like, not a whole bunch of people because it was only one, two, three, four, five, six. So, it's only six people in the room. And, I mean, not in the room, in the video shoot. Um, but it was, like, everybody was there to work and do a good job. Like, I was so happy. Um... The one of the the girl model in my video, she was such a good person. Like she treated me so good. And then, um, sorry, I'm itchy. My my belly itches. Um, I'm so grateful for everybody that was part of like. Me and um, me and my me and my brother-in-law's video shoot. 
technically, he's not my brother-in-law because him and my sister are not together anymore. But I always call him my brother-in-law because he's been in my life for a long time. And that's my niece's dad, you know. So I still consider him family. And um, he's been doing this for years and years. His name is Aries the God. He has a YouTube channel where he puts his music out. And he has different social media platforms, of course. And, um, but yeah, like, he's been doing this for so long. And it was, like, such an awesome experience to, like, see what, what it is, you know. Because, and then making a song was a completely different experience than shooting the video for the song like it was so like fun it was awesome it was oh my god i can't explain it i feel like i couldn't sleep for like two days because it was like the, the 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 energy that i got from that was so great that i couldn't sleep i could not sleep and i was so happy and i'm still am i, I was but like the excitement like lasted for like two days like i swear like i cannot explain how it feels i can't explain the feeling but it was so so like awesome awesome that's all i could say i'm happy everybody that was there it's like I loved it. I can't wait to do another one. And by the way, you guys, my video is dropping on February February 14th. It's not going to be on this channel. It's going to be in Aries the God's channel. So if you ever want to see it, um, look up his channel subscribe and just wait for February Fev you I'm sorry I have an accent I know February 14th so Valentine's Day the video will be dropping I don't know the time yet but Feb for but Valentine's Day let me stop saying February Valentine's Day the video is dropping. I don't know the time yet, but look forward to that. Follow Aries the God on YouTube and every other social platform, every every other social media platform as well, so that you could be in, in tune for when this video drops because you, you do not want to miss it. I had fun, and I hope that you guys watch the video and love it as much as i do by the way you guys i understand that the words to my song is a little bit you know on the dirty side but that's okay if you don't if you can't listen because of them that's fine but you if you're 18 and older and you don't mind listening to that type of music then i suggest you go and subscribe to his channel and wait for that video to drop you know don't want to miss it you're gonna love it um i had a lot of fun it was such a an amazing experience and and it's like i want to relive that again and i'm so happy
the food is so good this is probably gonna make me sleepy <laughs> I've been out all day. I went food shopping today. <clears throat> I had a doctor's appointment. I was so mad because I get there and they're telling me that my appointment got canceled. And it's like, y'all didn't even call me and tell me that. Like, it made me waste some money. Because it's not like I have, a, like, I mean, it's not a lot of money. But, you know, I paid for transportation and for nothing because my appointment was canceled. Then I, excuse me, then it's, it's like, that's not enough because I waited in line and they had a really long line, <laughs> like really long line. God knows that. I wanted to call and cancel this appointment and I instead showed up for no reason. So that was kind of a little bit frustrating, but you know what, thinking back, it's like I should have calmed myself down a little bit and not be so angry. I just hate inconsiderations like that because obviously I made the appointment for a reason. So it's like I need it I needed a physical done. Obviously it's for a reason. Like come on now, like you don't just cancel people's appointments and not call them, not give them a, give them a message, nothing like So now I have to go back tomorrow to see somebody. And then, yeah, that's it. But I was just so frustrated. Don't do that to me. Like I just showed up for no reason. I came out like I was sleeping. I got up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep looking back because my cat. I have a cat now. So, he loves getting into things. Especially food. But yeah. I'm getting full. This food is so good. Put the rest of my beans in there. <clears throat> they cook really good. Whoever cooks there at Food Zone, good job. If y'all see this, because I don't know. Hopefully. Excuse me, hopefully they see this. Mm, my God. Mm. That was my son that just passed by. Actually, um, have another mukbang coming soon because I found I finally found the um the Fritos is it? No, not Fritos. Um, the mac and cheese. Wow, I can't even think of the name now. Anyways, 
I have a mukbang coming soon with trying out those mac the the mac and cheese that what is that like brand that made it? It's like like they have like the hot mac and cheese, the regular cheese one, and then they have a jalapeno one. And I'm like trying to picture the box in my head so that I could remember the name. Fritos? No. Cheetos. Yeah, Cheetos. The Cheetos, um, mac and cheese. I hope I'm saying it right. But yeah, stay tuned for that mukbang because I want to try those. I haven't tried them. I know that everybody, this is already, everybody done tried them and... But I haven't. I haven't. So I have to do it. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I haven't tried it, so I want to do it. Mm. 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 I'm going to put this to the side for now. I don't have a candle, so I'm just gonna cut a piece and then eat some of it because God knows I do not eat a lot of sweets. When it comes to sweets, I have to have like um a craving for it because either I won't, I won't eat, I won't eat them, I won't eat them. I won't need sweets, is what I meant. Let's do it towards the camera so you guys can see. I'm gonna do a little tiny sliver. So yeah, um, Basically, I spent the whole day yesterday just resting because of my video shoot. I was so sore. I still have my legs. When I go up and down the stairs, they're... Sorry, I keep burping because of the soda. But yeah, my legs are on fire. Going up and down the stairs. Oh my God. It's like my muscle is so tight, it's so tight, 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 that it hurts. And I don't know if that's normal for when you, I mean, obviously when you exercise, you'll be um, sore, but mine just feel like so swollen. And I think it's because I haven't danced in like, Cause when the pa when the pandemic started, obviously everybody had to um, stay in home at home and not go out. Not there was nothing to do basically. So like I stood home, I didn't do nothing, and then now I could feel it. Now I could feel it. I felt it. Mmm. Good. Oh my God. That's so good. Mm. Oh my God. That's so good. But I want too much. So yeah. Um. <clears throat> I didn't mind like staying home yesterday because I was so tired. I was so sore. I just wanted to be in bed. So that's exactly what I did is just rest the whole day. And it was very relaxing. Woo. So... I think that pretty much covers everything. 
I know I didn't finish all my food. I had a lot, a little tiny piece of cake. Um, so yeah. Anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what else to say. Um, I definitely want to thank everybody that was a part of my video shoot. They might not even see this, but I have hope that someday they will. And yeah, um. <sighs> I feel so satisfied. I feel happy. I feel like so much weight has been lifted off my shoulders. And I just want to continue to stay positive and just to, to live in this moment because I've never felt so passionate, so happy, so like for like it's like it's like i feel like i did something and it had a purpose and i and i went through and i accomplished what i set myself to do and that's i guess that's that's makes you feel so good inside so and i don't want to cry but like it's it, it's like now that i'm explaining it it's like i guess what I'm trying to say is that doing something for myself kind of made me feel really good. So I should continue to do this. And, um, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. Anyways, you guys, I will see you guys later. And I keep looking back because I keep hearing something in the background. Um, it might be my cat, but... I don't see him. Anyways, you guys, I will talk to you later. Bye.